Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And also make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And I ask that you share my videos on your Dolly pages and spread the word to come check out my channel. Guys, there's a couple things that I have going on. I um, have a blog, it's called MrSerenitySmithBabies.com. I also have a um, Chatterbox, which is a paid channel membership. The link is in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join. It's $1.99 per month. And you have to be at least 18 years old. That's where I do most of my live streams. If I go live, um, occasionally I do go live on this channel as well. Um, also guys, if you want merch, I have merch that's also, um, in the description or up under the video. So anyway, without further ado, I have baby Memphis here. And for some of you guys that may not know, baby Memphis is a, um, uh, baby that was painted by me. Um, he will get rooted at some point, but I'm in no rush as I have a lot of babies that's probably going to go ahead of him. I'm going to get him changed out and if you guys follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you probably have seen my new baby Andrew and I won't make this video entirely about him, but I will just go ahead and say this. I do want to thank everybody for loving him as much as I love him and I have like a million more photos to share of him. Um, I will do a video once he's fully done. Um, He's going to go through a couple more changes and then he'll be done and then I will do a video of him then. But until then, I just will share all his photos um, between the two social medias. Now, this little chalky boy has on a diaper that's way too big. So I'm going to see, but this diaper might be just as big. I don't know what size it is, but I'm going to put him on a different color diaper. So let's just strip him all the way down. And I like doing this with the reborns because we can't do this with the silicone babies anymore, which sucks. And it allows people to really know the difference between when they're new between reborns and silicone babies. Um, now he is, believe it or not, as big as he is and he's like really good size. He is still one of my favorite babies to hold. Like he's a, he's a true cuddle bug. Like, I don't know how his waiting actually turned out pretty perfect on him. So he's he's really cuddly. And I love that about him. Um, I am more of a smaller baby girl um, collector. Or smaller baby collector. I love boys. Um, more so than I do actually the girls. Um, but I do collect girls too. I do fall in love with the girls too. So you'll see me paint a lot of boys or make them boys the good thing about it is that even though he's a boy because he's a cloth body with no gender he can very well be switched over to a girl like if I was to put him up for sale the mommy can change him into a girl and it's so funny how quickly they can look like a girl but for me once my babies become one gender I can't I can't unsee them as that gender sometime. But, like, for instance, if I was to put him on this and throw him on this, way up, and throw him on a headband, put him on, you know, the little, he would be a very cute girl. And that was the intentions. He was supposed to be a girl originally when I got the scope, but then it just went to boy. So I do have another scope that I am going to make, and I am going to make that one a girl. But <laughs> make this is a boy. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys really quick um, how easy it can be. And yes, this little dress is still hanging up here from when um, Phoebe took it off. But, um, so yeah, um, somebody mentioned also in one of my videos, I don't know which one, they commented and was saying they think it's very good that collectors learn to 
you know, reweight their babies and, um, because sometimes for me, I don't know, for, for, and like I said, it's, we all collect for different reasons and we're all different types of collectors. I am not a person that like hold my babies all the time, but I do like to hold them occasionally. And when I do, I like for them to feel real. When I pick them up, I need their weighting to be proper. I need them to fall proper. Um, if I get a reborn and it's highly uh, stiff or really light weighted and, you know, just don't feel real at all, um, I cannot even like the doll. Like, I won't, I won't connect with it. I can't, it's like I, I barely can even come up with a name for it because that's how serious it is for me. So, early on, I learned how to um, weight my babies. Um, when I got a baby that I really liked, liked the painting and stuff like that and the sculpt, but the weighting was just all wrong. And, um, the artist was like, just reweight it. It's not that hard. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, I can't take this thing apart, you know? And it was just like, I was so scared. I was like, what if I can't get it back together? It was like, you will. So I got these little things and I wish I had them here to show it to you. But the best video to watch, I did a video re-weighting them, but also Little X Love is who I follow. Um, rest in peace. She's a collector that passed away in the community. But she she did a video on how to weight your babe, your reborn. And it was so good. I went step by step with her video. And that's how I learned to reweight them. So, you know, it just makes a big difference. Um it's nothing like pulling a baby like when you get a box open. I'd be so excited when I get one that's actually weighted nicely. And sometimes babies can have weight and still not be weighted good. It it needs to fall a certain way. I don't know. But anyway. You know, it's so funny. It's so many different quirks and you know, everybody like different crazy little things about their babies. Um, at one point when I first came in, you know, I, I wanted, you know, full legs on the babies because when I was watching the other collectors, um, their babies could wear, you know, like the different shorts and stuff and the cloth wouldn't show. So I was like, I want that, you know, like if I had a baby. So I switched like Paris Mia Moore, she had long legs and I went ahead and switched her to a full body. And, um... It worked out. That was a trend at one point. Um, and then, yeah, anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. But I forgot what was going with that. But anyway, we 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 do a lot of different things. Oh, this is going on backwards. Um, we do a, diff a lot of different things to make ourselves comfortable and stuff like that. Um, one thing I remember, and I, t I told this story before, I remember one time I was, when I first started in this hobby, I was so fascinated with the realism in the dolls. I was like, like, you know, a new addict. And I was just like buying, 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 buying. And trust me, because I sell dolls, I don't want to discourage you from buying. But I realized that I was just like buying, buying, buying. I didn't even slow down to enjoy the, the first baby so one week it just kind of fell that way um I had you know how we do layaway and I have this thing like I don't know about y'all but when I have a baby on layaway or a custom I buy in between babies because I can't I can't wait for that baby to come and I'm trying not to bother the artist and it's just a whole bunch of ball of nerves going on so I do all this stuff to keep myself occupied well I'd gotten a couple babies on order and in between while waiting on them, I ended up buying like, you know, other babies. And so when I did that, um, it just so happened to fall where a lot of the babies start coming in at the same time. So I remember for a whole week straight, every day I had a new box opening on my channel and it was like crazy. But you got to keep in mind back then, and that was a lot for me back then. That was a lot, you know, it still was a lot of money. But back then it was like, you know, you get a, a, a reborn for 350, you know, 500, you know, um, easy, you know, rooted, everything, full box opening. <laughs> oh my gosh, like those were like, 
you know, and I was complaining like paying seven fifty, eight hundred, you know, for a really like high end reborn. It's like now, man, if we if if that's what you could had to pay, we would be like so we would be so happy, right? Um, it's just times have just really really changed but you know everything in life goes up nothing stays stagnant um this is not really matching him but we're gonna put him on him anyway because i mean he don't i don't have anything else right now i have some stuff but i, I didn't bring it over here so these are what's by so i'm gonna put him and the reason why i'm putting him on some um some type of shoes is because his feet i love his feet but they are kind of like um shaped more baby like and so when he's looking like a big boy it 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 doesn't like necessarily flow well with him so when he's dressed like a big boy so i put him on shoes and then that that works so but i love the like the size of his feet oh my god i love this baby i knew i was gonna say that i was trying not to but <laughs> um but yeah i realized too when i was getting those babies back to back i did not give myself time enough to enjoy um the you know the one before that and there was a couple of them that like you know it was like i connected with a lot of them still but then there was times where because i got so many back to back there was a few i ended up just never even playing with or touching or anything like that and i was ready to to sell them i, I didn't even i didn't even want them because I gotten so many new babies and then, you know, the, it was always one that just didn't, didn't work out because, you know, I got so many, I didn't give it a chance. And I guess that, that thought was provoked by today. I was like, oh my God, I've been so in love with um, Memphis. But then when I got um, Andrew painted, it's like all I've been doing was taking pictures of Andrew, 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 but I don't want to lose um, my interest in this, this one because he is like a very special baby for me. And all of them are special in their own way, but when I say special for me, it's like something art-wise or something um, painting-wise or sculpt-wise that you know kind of make them a little bit more special to me and i you guys know i don't paint um the brown skin babies as much and you know it's not you know i know that that's what the community is all about right now everybody's like dark 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 you know um if you slap like a whole bunch of black paint on a baby it'll sell because everybody you know is wanting to be pro black and but it's not it's not nothing, anything wrong with it, but it's just not the norm that I'm familiar with as far as, and I say that all the time, as far as my real children for the most part. So I kind of gravitate to what's familiar. But anyway, that's, you know, I say that all the time. I tell y'all that all the time. But when I finally do do one and I actually like it and feel like I did a good job, it's like, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Like it's like a little cheerleader inside me just jumping up and down going, hey, yeah, yeah, you could do it. You could do it. But to be honest, like this is as deep as I can go, really. I mean, I, I have went darker. Um, Kingsley was so I did Nini with Nini is darker than Kingsley, a different type of dark. And I've never been able to get back to that Nini color, which Nini is more of a. It's just a difference. And um so Kingsley was a improvement to Nini and then but then I I just don't know that I can you know I can do that many but anyway so I love this little fat boy so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I know I'll be rambling and chatting too too much sometimes but I'm gonna make this short and end it here and I'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye bye